we're getting into the Louis Vuitton mini pouchette. Hi loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Morgan. I make videos about luxury handbags, fashion, and lifestyle so if that's your thing please subscribe and turn on notifications. I upload twice a week and I would love to have you here. All know the mini pouchette is one of the most desirable Louis Vuitton SLGs and rightfully so. Today we're gonna get into the features of this little SLG, my buying advice, should you buy new or should you buy pre-loved, what is inside my mini pouchette because everyone is always asking me and I'm going to show you multiple ways to use this because it's one of the most versatile Louis Vuitton pieces you could add to your collection. So let's get into it. My mini pochette is the Christmas animation from 2020. It's on the Demi Abin print. So I really like this option because you have each side that you can kind of wear it or use it. It's a little bit more special. It has this tiny little chain strap that it's very delicate but it's like perfect for the size of the bag like you wouldn't want something so tiny on a bigger bag but it's perfect for this one on the end you get a little piece of leather with the embossed stamp here it has a zipper at the top a little logo on the zip if I open it up this one is lined in pink this is why I really loved this edition you guys know I love pink I'm not a huge brown LV person like I don't have a big collection brown is not really my style it's either like colors or black so this one is perfect because it has all the colorful details on the front the little pink accent on the side and inside it's just the perfect edition for me but this does come plain. There is a version where it's just this. You can also get this in the monogram print or the Demi Azure print, which is like the lighter version of this checked print. And they tend to do with new collections, like limited editions. They always do like a Christmas animation every year. So if you can get your hands on one, there are quite a few options. You might just have to wait for the one that really suits you. It's made from Louis Vuitton's canvas, so it is quite durable. I haven't found the design on the front to be super delicate. I haven't had any issues with it chipping or anything like that, but if you were super rough with this or scratched it a lot, this design could have issues in the long run. But if you're just taking it from bag to bag and like putting it inside your bag and not doing something really weird with it, all of mine have really held up over time. I did have two pieces before this. I sold each one on, and this is my daily use from bag to bag little catch-all. So should you buy new or should you buy pre-loved? This is one of the hardest Louis Vuitton pieces to get your hands on. It's really ridiculous to me. I don't understand why they know the demand for it. The best way I find to get your hands on one of these is to pre-order them before the collection hits the stores through your essay or you can take your chances of popping in and out of the store. This is a difficult piece like in terms of calling up and asking if they have. Unless you have that relationship with the essay, they're probably not going to hold it for you. You get some pieces online, but you might want to call up the store and see if you can find out what day the collection is going to be released online, if they'll give you that information because they sell out very, very quickly online. I have checked online before to try to order one and it just... It, I've never had success. In the pre-love market, these really go for ridiculous prices. Like at least, at minimum, even for the plain version that's just like this, goes usually like $200 above the retail price. And this is quite an affordable SLG. I think the new US price is like $365. I'll pop it up here if it's different. I really just recommend buying it in store in whatever store you find it and don't wait on the piece. If you see it, pick it up if you want it. And if it's not the perfect one for you but you want to use it as a daily item like me, I would just say buy the one that they have and then keep trying for the one that you really, really want later on. You'll easily be able to sell this on once you find your dream mini pochette. Now I'm going to get into what I keep in my mini pochette. A lot of people find this to be too small for their catch-all if they're into bigger bags and carrying more stuff, which is a valid point. It's not as big as like a makeup bag, so I don't really recommend it for that. A makeup bag, this would be a little small unless you only bring a few things like I do. I could put a powder compact, a small lipstick, and a mini mascara in here and have enough for touch-ups throughout the day. But if you carry like your full makeup bag with you, this is definitely going to be too small. I would recommend looking at the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouches in that case. For me, this comes with a little bit of a backstory. So I used to live in New York and when you live in New York, you're just out and about, you're walking. It's 
not as easy just to like you know keep a bunch of stuff in your car I was in university when I moved there so I did not have a car and walking around my life was super busy going to class I worked a job after and I had a social life so I was going out a lot at night this was what I called my mini emergency kit now there is a brand that does these so first I had the little pouch that the brand did them in and I would just pop in a few little extras. So if I can find these little mini emergency kits, I will link the full kit below because some of the pieces inside of here come from the mini emergency kit. I always just had like any little bits and bobs you needed to kind of fix your life in a pinch if you're just out and about in a city. I always have this with me when I travel because when you're exploring a new city or if you live in a city like New York or London where you're just walking every day or you don't own a car and your bag is your life this is really really helpful so what I keep in here is probably very different to what other youtubers would use this for I just love to be prepared in life I love to just have everything on hand I was always the mom in the group you got a blister I had a band-aid if your hair clip fell out I had bobby pins I was just that person who had everything in my bag no matter how tiny because the mini emergency is much smaller but what I found with the bag that it comes with is that after about six to eight months it just it's a cheap little bag so it would wear out this obviously you can use for years and years and you know keep filling it with different things i'm just gonna get into what i have in here and let you guys judge me on the internet for how over prepared i am for life because in dubai i will say i don't get as much use out of these things as i do when i travel Let's just get into it so this is what it looks like it looks absolutely ridiculous it's packed with so many small things but i will link everything down below um, i will try to link the full mini emergency kit so you don't have to like build out your own you can definitely build out your own with things that you have a lot of these things are additions to the mini emergency kit they're just helpful little things to have around just, i always love the little wipes that you get at a cafe the Lotteray ones smell amazing, so every time I go to Lotteray, I ask for extras of these. They just have a really nice scent. You just need to clean your hands or something. These are really useful. I also keep a hand sanitizer wipe. Um, I always have a bottle of hand sanitizer with me, but in case my bag is too small, these little hand sanitizing antibacterial wipes are really great, you know, especially with everything going on in the world right now. Then we have these. It's really, really beat up but these lint removing sheets. I always try to lint roll before I leave the house, but you know, if you're just out and about or like, if I take my dogs to the vet and they just get all over me, it's just really nice to have these. Also keep a Jason Mark quick wipe in there. The These are the most perfect thing for just wiping off something if it gets on like your shoes. Always want to make sure to do a patch test that it'll work for the shoe that you have. His products literally revived my Gucci sneakers. They're amazing. So this is just so helpful to have if you spill a little something on your shoe and you don't want it to set in. Certain bags you can use this on too, but you have to be very, very careful. I would avoid light color leathers like beiges and pinks and things like that. I also keep um, the little wipe that I use for cleaning my piercings at the salon or getting a massage or something like that and they get oil or product on there just to clean my piercings in a sterile way. So not everyone needs this. I know that, but it's in my kit. Just kind of glaze through this, but you know, feminine products always good to have. So keep a little headache medicine. There are strict laws here in the UAE about advertising medication, so I'm not going to go into what I keep in there, but I get migraines, so if you have a medicine that is really helpful for you in your day-to-day, -day, keeping that in your mini emergency kit is really helpful. I also keep a couple of lens wipes in here. I do wear glasses to drive, and just in case they get really dirty, I just keep a couple of these in here it's just easy to clean them Keep like a stack of band-aids different sizes I need to replenish my larger band-aids um, these are all like tiny ones but I keep band-aids in different sizes for you know if you get a blister or whatever it is band-aids are you know just essential in life for me also keep my mirror from my Bulgari bag in here this is the nicest little mirror that I have so I figured, you know, why not get use out of it every day whenever I need to apply lipstick. It's just nice to have. I don't always keep a powder compact with me in a mirror. So having just this thin mirror in my kit 
is really really helpful I also keep a jewelry cleaning wipe my jeweler gave me this and it, I really need to change the little bag that it's in because the bag looks really gross but the cloth is clean but this is just to like polish up the jewelry I spill anything on my jewelry wipe it off and then use this cloth to just kind of like polish my ring or something like that so yeah I just I'm very particular about my jewelry and you know again not everyone needs to do this you don't have to be as particular in life but I am and I like to upkeep my things so a little jewelry polishing cloth comes in handy more often than you would think this is one of the things from the mini emergency kit these are little cotton swabs that have like eye makeup remover like corrector in it eyeliner smudges or something like that you can just fix it with one of these you would need to have like your powder compact with you just to you know fix your foundation after probably but you know a useful thing to have in case you have a little makeup mishap also a mini tiny sewing kit a button a couple safety pins a needle and a different and a few different color threads i need to replenish the white clearly i have used this while i've been out if you just rip something or you know you need to hold something together till you get home a little teeny tiny kit with just safety pin needle and thread has saved me and a few friends before especially on a night out this also comes with the mini emergency kit it's like this little thing you can pull your bra straps together um, in case they're like showing or something I personally never really use this I just kind of like keep it in there um, I don't know why because it came in the emergency kit but yeah I probably could get rid of that one I feel like when I'm leaving the house I kind of know if my bra straps are showing maybe if you're going like day to night and you want to change up your look or something like that I don't know and maybe you had a jacket on and then you want to take it off and then your bra is showing I don't know how that would really happen but maybe um, that's a good reason to have that in your kit always keep a few sample perfumes um, it doesn't matter the brand it's just like whenever you're shopping and you get these little extras you just keep them in here keep a little dish of all of the samples I get when I shop in my bathroom so whenever I run out of these I can just replenish it with another this is a Listerine uh, strip case but it doesn't have Listerine strips in it it has my SIM cards for different countries, for India, the UK, the US. Whenever I travel, I have different SIM cards that I change out in my phone. And it also has that little tool that opens up an iPhone or opens up um, a phone so you can change your SIM card. This is super handy. I'm always having Listerine strips. Those are usually in here as well, but um, I, I need to replenish them at the moment. So I usually have one of these filled with Listerine strips and one of these filled with SIM cards. I also have these like little flossers in case you get something stuck in your teeth. Um, these are from the mini emergency kit, but you can easily get like a big pack of these and just replenish them. This is just a little bit of fashion tape. Um, if your outfit keeps moving, if your bra keeps showing, just taping your shirt or your dress down. Super helpful. A little stash of bobby pins on a card. This is also from the little emergency kit, the one that I had before. The kit as well. They're just little um, floss strips. They're just tiny little hair bands, um, little clear ones. So they work for any hair color, um, whether it's yourself or one of your friends when you're out. The last thing I have in here are mini tweezers. I mean, how many times have you just been out and you're just like, why is there that one hair? It's just like seemingly out of place. This is really, really useful for that. And this I got from Sephora in the US. Um, I use my VIB Rouge points to get this little tiny tweezer, but they also make a small tweezer. It's slightly bigger. That's like a travel size. You could put that in your kit if you wanna buy the tweezers and put them in there. But um, if you are a Sephora VIB member in the US, sometimes these teeny tiny tweezers do come up in the rewards points. So using your points to get these is a really good idea for your kit. That was everything in the, my mini pochette. I know it's like a lot and I know it seems like I'm way over prepared. Most people just put, you know, like car key, hand sanitizer, like little things like that. You can definitely use that for this. If you're looking to build out a kit like mine, I'll have links below where you can get some of these things. Some of these things you probably already have around your house are probably floating in the bottom of your purse. I know a lot of people carry band-aids as it is. Let's get into ways you can use your mini pochette. I did show this in my tiny bag collection video, so I'll pop that up here if you want to check out more details about that. But you can use this as a tiny bag. It fits fine on the crook of your arm in the hand the nice thing about having the designs you can wear it this way or you can wear it this way so you have options if you want to have a more plain outfit just 
carry it with this side out. If you want to add detail to your outfit, you can carry it with this side out. So it's a little versatile that way in terms of a mini bag. You can also take a strap from another bag. I'll just attach it here and show you. I really like this look because then you can wear this crossbody and you can let the little chain hang down in front. I think the most common use for this is inside of another handbag. This fits in like pretty much all medium to big bags, but it also fits in some small bags as well. It does fit even in my small cocoa handle. I might curate what's in here a little more for that because it does take up quite a lot of room in a small bag. If you're a day bag to tote bag type of person, this is so essential for you. Like this just keeps every little thing together and then you can just pop it from bag to bag and it's just easy. It keeps your bag neat and clean inside. Another way to wear it is on a bigger bag. Now you have to have quite a big bag because this chain drop is quite long. You can add a smaller handle to attach it higher up if you like, but if you have like a Neverfull or an on the go tote, you can add this as an accessory. Not that you really need extra storage, but more so as a cute like mini bag on big bag look. Another way is to add a cute tiny handle to it. So this is a pearl strap I got off of Amazon. If I can find it, I will link it below. But just adding a little something. If you wanna put the chain on the side, it's like a little decorative piece. It's a really cute girly way to wear the bag. If you're really looking to make this a nighttime piece, which I find teeny bags like this, I wear mostly for like dinners out or like nighttime occasions. So this makes it a little more dressed up. You can also make a little handle with a twilly. I think this is also cute to make it more of like a little day bag style. It's a bit much with the design, but I think if you have a more plain mini pochette, this is a lovely way to carry it. This is like a little garden party, out to brunch, cute little way to dress up your mini pochette. Also link it onto a belt loop and have a cute little belt bag. I really feel this is a piece that if you want to get creative with it, you could probably come up with even more ideas for how to use this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please give a like. It really helps out my channel for the YouTube algorithm and helps me reach more people. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see how I style my bags and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!